Lieutenant Sam, you're committed, of course, to your National Guard duty, but also you're helping your math students back home in Kentucky. These students must mean a whole lot to you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I have a, a, a duty to, to my country and my state, and I have a duty to my students back in, uh, back in the community. So it's um, it, it's all just kind of wired in me. Uh, the, you know, you just it comes from uh, just just caring about what you're doing, taking pride in your work, and uh, and it's not just I don't look at it as just my duty. I do it because I want to. And your your subject is generally math. Yes, sir. What what level would that be? Like what grade level? So I teach twelfth grade. I do have one ninth grade class. Uh, I also teach college algebra. And uh, so, you know, even the college algebra, they're all taking the dual credit classes. So it's a majority of my day is just the 12th graders. So that's the primary one. So I guess this makes for some long days for you. Oh, yeah, it's it's it does a little bit. Not too bad, though. How do you set up with the class? Uh, do, you, do you have like a, a desk or a table or a special place you go to to do the videos? So I'll uh, I'll be working from my from my quarters sometimes. Uh, sometimes things will come at me while I'm at work, and I have a space that I can I can work and, and do both of my uh, jobs at the same location. Uh, so you know sometimes uh, you know I, I don't like for students to wait on me. Uh, they they'll reach out to me with a question, and then I'll make a video. You know, with, and I usually can get back to them within an hour or two. And even when I'm really busy, I can I, I'm. I can find time to get back to them in a timely manner so that they're not just waiting all day on me. So you you essentially will do individual, almost like tutoring for, for students who want extra extra help on the math? Oh, yes. Uh, so, you know, they they uh, they have my email. They'll, they'll shoot me uh, an email there and ask me particular questions, and uh, sometimes they'll even send me a screenshot of uh, the problem that they're looking at. And when they do that, I'm able to just uh, have a quick turnaround. I can just pull out pen and paper real quick, kind of uh, give them a little explanation on how to look at certain things. Uh, and then I'll just take the, the video and I'll, I'll shoot it back to them. Are you able to convince them how, how math, the knowledge of math, can help with, with life issues later on down the road? Sometimes, sir. Uh, it, so, uh, you know, some people are a little bit more interested in it than others. Some people have these career fields that they want to get into that requires them to know a little bit more math. Some do not. And uh, and also, you know, the biggest thing is, is uh, most of them do want to go to college. And when they and with that mindset, they know that they have to take a math class. They have to take a college algebra. They may may even have to take like a Calc 1 class. And uh, they're they're pretty motivated to to learn as much as they can to, before they move on to college. So uh, as far as like applying it to the real world, sometimes I can throw some problems in there in the curriculum. Uh, I try to do that as often as I can. But with uh, but for now, the, what really motivates them and makes them think, how is this really going to help me? It's because when they go to college, they will see this stuff again. And it's my job to do everything I can to prepare them for that. Serving your country and, and in addition, serving these students – what is in your heart when you consider what you're doing? What What do you think about? You know, it, it's 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 kind of like what I was saying a while ago. You know, we I have a duty to my country, my state. I have a duty to my students back home, and and it's uh, and I don't like to look at it as duty really. Uh, I like to look at it because it's just the right thing to do. I just want to do it. Uh, and the and the thing that helps me out the most is the fact that the uh, that the United States Army supports my obligation back home, and then my obligation, my, my my chain of command back at the school, if you will, they they understand and they respect my roles and my duties to to my country too. So the fact that the, uh, both of those institutions are, uh, are are so understanding of the other and they support my duties with the other, that right there is just is, it means the most to me. Uh, that, that I'm set up for success. I'm set up to provide my soldiers and my students the resources that they need to be success to be successful. Well, we certainly, to use a military term, salute what you're doing. Uh, it's it's an amazing thing, and we really thank you for sharing your heart with us. Oh, absolutely. And you know, and the the biggest thing for me is just staying positive. Uh, just re be around positive people. Be positive around other people. And if people aren't, then you know, try to do what you can to. To, to show them that you love them and that you care about them and just try to lead by example, be the example of, of uh, what a good day looks like. And, uh, and, and you'd be surprised how contagious that is. So that's just a little word of encouragement. I just like to share with people.
All right. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome.